People are swimming in here. It's crazy. It honestly feels like a dream. And there's people who are riding little sailboats and swimming. It really feels like you're in a movie out over here. Um, and it's really nice being here after like a super stressful week last week. So believe it or not, I actually grew up on a farm with horses. So it kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> Okay, everyone in Oxford has to come to Gales. The owner was so nice to me and just gave me a free croissant and a hot chocolate. I'll show you. Okay, tell me that there's something more Harry Potter than this. So nice out today. I'm just biking. To, just biked over and I'm gonna go into the old bottling to do some study. Famous fire eaters, 15th century fiends. Flamel, Nicholas Flamel. Uh, they'll give you like stuff. I wanted to explain what I do to be more productive, so I do something that's called time batching. Um, so here's an example. I don't know if you can see that. Basically, I split up my day. Um, so. The work that I'm doing is really, really focused work. So basically between 10 and 11, I'm working on my health and disease essay. Between 11, 10, and 12, 10, I'm working on my journalism essay. Uh, between 12, 10, and 1, 10, I'm um, doing lunch. Between 1, 15 and 2, 15, I'm doing my AMCAS, which is my medical school applications. Um, and I'll just keep adding to the list <laughs> until I tire myself out. When I'm working, I turn off all my devices, and I am doing only deep focused work. And that allows me to be really efficient with my time, so then later in the day, I can do things that I really want to do. But yeah, give it a try. Would recommend. <laughs> I feel terrible right now. I must have been like food poisoning yesterday from something I ate and then I threw up this morning and I had to cancel my tutorial for today. It is now the next morning. I'm literally wearing the same shirt because I didn't get out of bed once yesterday. Um, but I'm feeling so much better today. Um, I was just sad last night because I really wanted to go to this protest. I'm gonna take a shower and put on a new shirt. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just back in my room now. Oop, coffee's ready. Um, I ate like nothing yesterday. I was literally in bed sleeping all through the day. But now I'm gonna have some yogurt. My stomach hurts like still a little bit. 
don't know, the most productive in the library. So hopefully this yogurt and this coffee will get me going again. But I found a really cool topic to write about for my essay for Health and Disease, which is due tomorrow night. I'm gonna write about the social policy of mass incarceration in America um, and how that's led to health inequalities. So I'm excited about that. Let me clarify, I'm not excited about mass incarceration. I'm excited about being able to research it. I have to be careful with what I say. Here's what we're working with today. I'm gonna run out to Tesco's to grab some food. Feeling better, still a little bit dead though. Feels nice to get outside of the house. So I just spent the morning working on my health and disease essay, which is due tonight. In like 10 minutes, I have an online tutorial with my health and disease tutor. I had to cancel it on Wednesday because I'm feeling sick. Today's Friday, so we're making it up now. Do you access an abortion in that state? You just had a really good tutorial. I went into it like feeling kind of dead. My stomach was still hurting a little bit. I don't know. It was on social policy and the things we were reading were kind of boring in these complex terms that I didn't really appreciate too much. Um, but I literally am smiling so much because that was like such a fun conversation we talked about. All these different like really contemporary issues comparing like the US, the UK, and Australia. So it was a lot of fun. And now I'm going to eat some food and then go to the library and finish my essay, which is due tonight. I'm writing about mass incarceration in the U.S. and the social policies that have led to it and how that has had downstream effects on health outcomes. And then I'm comparing it to the Norwegian system. So I'm back in the library. Okay, so I was kind of getting stressed working on my paper and then Pusha messaged me saying that she's going for a walk. And I really didn't want to go because I need to finish my paper tonight, but I gave in, so I'm finding her now. <laughs> Everyone left and I'm still here, working hard, really, really hard on this paper. And I don't really know who I'm impressing at this point. I think I just want to do a good job for myself. Okay, so <laughs> it's 9.07 on a Friday night and I just submitted my essay. <laughs> very tired right now, very sleepy, um, but I'm very, very proud of myself for finishing this after a very long, sick week. <laughs> It's like Booster Cafe. And do some more. Everyone's out. I'm just biking back now to St. Catherine. I missed it, but Prince Charles was in this building at Trinity College literally two days ago. So I just got back to St. Catherine's College after interviewing Samia. It's actually the first Rhodes Scholar from Afghanistan. Uh, she was an Afghan refugee. Got to talk to her about her experiences growing up as a refugee. It was just a really cool experience getting to talk to her about basically the fall of Afghanistan, the Taliban takeover, um, her proposed solutions, if there are solutions. She's been involved in a lot of protesting 
this week, so I also asked her a little bit about that. Not a super, super, super old traditional college, but has its beauties. Ah, that's so simple. Okay, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Have a beautiful day. Okay, I say something. I am like the main character. How are you doing today, John? Zippity zoppity zoop. What does that mean? Wow. That dream for another day. Tony, what are your reactions? Oh my god, that was f***ing brilliant. Oh. Everybody watch, watch this dude. Seriously, I've said the effort like three times because it's really f***ing good. The kids. The kids. It's a video selfie, so we're going right now. Amazing, so I'll see you on Broadway. Wait. Okay, I got it. Yep, so I left your present there for you. You're gonna really like it. Don't worry. I'm excited. Is it it's something which would which won't go bad or something, right? So I can take it out tonight. Yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. I'm